New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like almost stops. Yankees fans, I know we all like Manny Machado. Manny Machado is one of the best players in all the Major League Baseball. Great defensively, great offensively. But in my opinion, you guys know, I have made numerous videos about Manny Machado. I'm going to agree with Chris Russo and Mike Francesa when it comes to Manny Machado as of now, it makes absolutely zero sense, okay? And here's why I make zero sense. JT Riamutu has a real good chance of landing on the Astros. If you have listened to my previous videos, I have stated, whatever team Riamutu lands on, a team in contention, they have a great chance in winning the World Series or reaching the World Series. I say this because I believe JT Rumutu is an impact player. Any team that gets him in playoff contention, they're just going to it's just going to be smooth sailing like how the Astros obtained Verlander and he just dominated. The same can be said with Rumutu, especially if he lands on the Astros, replacing him with a McCann. McCann is obviously not hitting. You plug in Rumutu and that team is going to be automatic contenders, a ride in to make a good run for that World Series championship. I'm not saying they're going to win the World Series or even go to the World Series. If the Astros add Riamutu, they have him for about, what, three more years? Solid. A solid defensive catcher and offensive catcher. I mean, it makes perfect sense. The Yankees have a whole bunch of prospects to trade away. I would lock down Riamutu. In a perfect world, if I was GM, I would target, obviously, an ace and an offensive player like Riamutu. We all know... The Yankees want to add two pitchers to the rotation. I'll say forget that. Add an ace and aim for an offensive bat to add in your lineup. Sure, Manny Machado sounds great, but it makes no sense giving any player for Machado as a rental. I know if he comes to the Yankees, he's going he's gonna to sign a long-term contract, but it makes absolutely zero sense. I would give up those prospects for a player that's locked in for years to come. And Riamutu, it doesn't get better than that. He's great. He's an all-star. I just like the sound of Riamutu on the New York Yankees. If he's available, we all know he's going to be available. I mean, get him. I say this because it's going to devastate the Astros and it's going to devastate the Boston Red Sox. So one trade could impact the outcome of two teams in contention for that World Series title. We all know that these three teams are going to meet each other come playoff time. Or maybe not play against each other, but those are the three teams that we know guaranteed are going to be in the playoffs. By getting JT Rumutu, you block the Astros from obtaining him. Like I said, if the Astros get JT Rumutu and it looks like they can get him, it's going to be another blow just like last year's trade for Verlander. I'm telling you guys. He is an impact player. He will have an effect of how the whole playoff picture is painted. Also, Greg Bird is heating up at the right time, but in my opinion, let's give him more time. Let's see how consistent he could be. Just because he's hot doesn't mean he's going to continue to be hot. Let's see. So, let's say none of these trades happen. Let's say the Yankees don't get Machado. Let's say the Yankees don't get DeGrom. Let's say the Yankees don't get Real Mutu. I would seriously, yet again, look into making a deal with the Nationals. The Nationals and the Yankees are highly compatible when it comes to a trade, the Nationals are not going anywhere this season. It's just a pipe dream. If you have been paying attention to my channel, I even put out a Dodgers video back in May. I said, hey, the Diamondbacks are not running away with first place. As of then, they were like, what, 10 games up on the Dodgers? And I said, don't worry. The Dodgers will come back and take that first place spot. And again, at this point, I don't see the Diamondbacks being sellers just because they are neck and neck with the Dodgers. But I do see the Nationals becoming sellers. And if they do, I can see them trading away Max Scherzer and Harper. I can see them trading a number of players on their roster to rebuild around Soto. Like I keep saying, I can see the Nationals becoming sellers way before the Mets because the Mets are a lousy organization and they're pretty stupid. The Nationals outsmart them in every turn, even with Murphy. And listen, folks, making a deal with the Nationals, you still have prospects or you still have pieces to make another trade 
for let's say a mid-level pitcher that's going to give you innings like maybe a J.A. Happ or one of those kinds of pitchers that have a slightly high ERA or maybe their price has dropped like a Cole Hamels. Anything is possible. Anything is possible when you make a trade for a pitcher that has a whole bunch of money left on his contract and is not going to cost that much to obtain them. But in a perfect world, I prefer a DeGrom and Riamutu. I would offer the Mets whatever they want. Here, take Sheffield. Here, take Floreal. Give me DeGrom. Riamutu, I'll do the same thing. I'll deplete the farm system for both of those players. Lockdown for many years to come and instant impact players on your team. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. For those who have purchased NYY News merchandise, I appreciate it. Send me a picture or whatever via Facebook or Twitter, and I will feature you on this channel. Like always, share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.